Alright ladies and gents, how are you guys doing? In this video I'm going to be doing a Photoshop comparison boot up and show you how well the Photoshop works on the new 13 inch MacBook Air 2011 versus the old MacBook Air 13 inch 2010. The specs of both of these machines are on your screen so I'm not going to bother. So the first thing that we're going to do is launch CS5 at the same time. One, two and three. This is the trial version for those of you asking and... How are we getting on? Start trial, that would be nice. Wow, so that was a wee bit fast. Start trial, continue trial, uh, skip this step. And yeah, uh, looks like the left hand side one is a tiny bit slow, but let's go ahead and import some files. That is where the real thing is going to come in. So open, file open, and we're going to drag in the same images uh, for both machines. So let's go ahead and choose the files that we want. And let's go ahead and choose the files that we want from here. Videos and trailers. And boom, right? So file, open, open. One, two, three. And to me, this one is a bit fast in processing or importing the images. Let's see which one finishes. Both again have the same images importing in and uh, no background applications are running or anything. Both have line installed on the system. Let's see which one is done. So as you can see, this is still on the plane side mm. and this one has just showed the coins whereas that one is a bit further up. And let's see. Almost there, and I think we're coming up to the final images, and boom, that is the final image. Whereas this one is still importing. So yeah, in terms of if you're going to be processing a lot of photos, the new one, because of the Core i5 processor, has definitely done a good job. And there we go, we're up to the same images on the old MacBook Air as well. Okay, so now let's really dig into this. Let's go into some 3D action, 3D. And by the way, I have no experience uh, with kind of Photoshop CS5, so excuse the noobiness, but here I'm going to apply a few 3D layers. Let's apply the same one, so pyramid. Which one? Come on. Which one? Which one? Make your mind up. Which one? And boom! That one was faster, and there I am in pyramid view. Let's go ahead and undo this. Undo new shape. Let's just, for the fun of it, I guess, isn't this always fun to do? Let's go ahead and place it, uh, hmm. Wine bottle. This should be interesting. Wine bottle, one, two, three. Bam. The new one by literally a few seconds. Now I know it's just literally a few seconds, but those of you who are pros know that every second counts when it comes to, you know, importing files, applying layers. So let's go ahead and apply some more filters. Let's apply the same filter to these two images. And again, this one was tiny bit faster. I don't know if you guys noticed it or not, but it was a wee bit faster. Let's check this next one. Again, this one was quicker. And this one here. Let's see this one. Yep, the new MacBook Air 2011 has won this. Let's go ahead into a different category. Let's go into stylize. Oh yeah, this is my favorite one. I remember doing this one for the iMac test. And there we go, that one is faster. I hope you guys are getting this kind of cleared. I'm just showing it to some of you guys who are possibly getting this to do primarily Photoshop and image work. And boom, that one has won it. And here's some more 3D action. Let's go into 3D and let's go into mesh grayscale and let's grow into cylinder and do it at the same time. Boom! Come on, son. Got a feeling the Core i5 is going to win. If not, I will bang my head against this table and you will hear it very loudly. Both are, there we go, that one's done it. And this one is still processing and boom, there it is. And lastly, just to finish this test off, why not save it in Photoshop format and voila. Okay. And 
which one, which one. This one's done it and this one's done it. So this one again is a 0.5 seconds ahead. So guys, I hope this test has been useful. For those of you getting your new MacBook Airs, I'll be doing tons of more footage. Click over here to view the entire MacBook Air 2011 series if you're interested in getting one. If you're interested in getting the previous one, the 2010 model, click here to view the video series for that. If you can check out my new venture, iGear.com, as on the screen, you sir would be a legend. I will see you guys in another life. Cheers.